you can do this. Hey guys, why are we doing this in Halo 5 again? I don't even like Halo 5. Oh yeah, that's why. Well, if we have to be here, let's at least get this show on the road. What is the strongest Moemon in Fire Red? First, we have to set up the ground rules. The first rule is going to be that even though Fire Red does not feature all Pokemon types, this video will be focusing on all Pokemon types for funsies. I'm looking at you, Fairy. Number two, while it's possible to encounter some of the tradable Pokemon, did I say Pokemon? I meant Moemon. While it's possible to encounter some of the tradable Pokemon, in this video we will only be focusing on the first 151. That means you're out, Hounder and Entei. Get the F out of here. So are we clear? While it's possible to get 386 Pokemon, I said Pokemon again, didn't I? We will only be focusing on the 151st. Now on to the big one, which is the fairy type question. So the way this video is going to work is we're going to be rating all the Pokemon via points. Each time they are super effective against another trainer's Pokemon, they will be given one point. Another thing worth mentioning is that we will only be focusing on Pokemon within Pokemon battles with trainers. I said Pokemon like multiple times again, didn't I? So what does this mean for the fairy type, which is technically not even in Fire Red? This means that on the rare occasion we run into a fairy type, it will be treated as a normal type, which is what it was in Fire Red. And points will be given to fighting, since fighting is super effective against normal type Pokemon. I said Pokemon again, I know. But just for the lulls, whenever we encounter a Moemon that is fighting, dragon, or dark type, we will be given points to fairy, just so we can have some fun at the very end of the tally. Let me give you a quick example of this. Say we encounter a Clefairy or a Jigglypuff, which at the time were normal type Pokemon. So that means fighting would be super effective against them, and fighting will be given a point, since fighting is super effective against normal type Pokemon. Let me give you another example. Take Mr. Mime, for example, who is a Psychic Fairy type. In Moemon Fire Red, Mr. Mime is only a Psychic type, since Fairy was not a thing yet so he will be treated only as a psychic type. In this case, Fairy will not be treated as normal and will not count at all. Because in Moemon Fire Red, it was not a dual type. It was a single psychic type. Now, when encountering a fairy type Pokemon, like a Clefairy or Jigglypuff, this does not mean types like Poison or Steel will be getting any additional points. In those cases, like I said, they will be treated as normal type and only fighting will be getting any points. Luckily, there isn't too many would-be fairy types in Moemon Fire Red, so this isn't a super big issue and for the most part will not be affecting the final result, which is to find the most effective Moemon. So we all clear? When Machamp shows up, Fairy gets a point. When Meryl shows up, Fairy is completely ignored. Alright, let's move on to the final stipulation of this testing. So in this video, we will be going over every battle in the game with a trainer. This even includes rematches, and there's a reason for that. Reason being, Moemon like Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl is a water type Pokemon, but when it evolves into Poliwrath, it turns into a water fighting type Pokemon. This can sometimes happen in rematches, where trainers will have a Poliwhirl one time and a Poliwrath during the rematch. If we did not count the rematch, then that would mean some Moemon would be losing out on points that they should be getting. One of which, in this case, would have been the Psychic-type Moemon, who should have gotten a point when the rematch occurred. Some of the other examples we encountered during testing, where trainers have evolved Pokemon that are different types after evolving, were Moemon like Shelter and Cloyster, Staryu and Starmie, and Charmeleon and Charizard along with a few others. So while we said that we would be going through the entire game, and this is true, we will not be going through it step by step, trainer by trainer. We will instead be keeping tally and then recording on that tally at every major checkpoint. Starting at our first checkpoint, the Pewter City Gym, Rock Type is our strongest with 14 points after coming out of the door to the gym. Moving on to our next checkpoint, Mount Moon, Rock is still in the lead, but now with 48 points. And Flying and Fire are tied in second with 38 points. Coming out of our next gym, the Cerulean City Gym, Psychic and Rock are now tied for the lead. 
with 67 points. Ice is in second with 58 points. Moving to the very bottom of the list, Dark and Ghost are tied with three points. Coming out of the Vermilion City Gym, Rock has taken back the lead and now stands at 99 points. Dark and Ghost are still hogging up the bottom of the leaderboard, but now with five points. Coming out of the Celadon City Gym's doors, Rock has completely fallen off the podium, now replaced with Ice in first with 156 points. Ground in second with 146, and Psychic in third with 144 points, just behind ground. Marking our halfway point coming out of the Fusia City Gym, Psychic is now our strongest, with 238 points. Ice drops down to second with 191 points. Moving to the bottom of the leaderboard, we have Poison with 11 points and Bug a few steps ahead with 33 points. And keep this in mind for later. The strongest starter types, when including Electric for fun, is Electric in first with 125 points, and Water being the weakest starter with 90 points. Fire and Grass have 105 and 104 respectively. After coming out of the Saffron City Gym, Psychic is still in the lead with 296 points. Ice is still in second with 220 points, and Ground is in third with 194 points. Moving right along to Cinnabar Island Gym, Psychic still dominates, but now with 357 points. Electric has moved up to second place with 309 points. Ice moves down to third with 299 points. In last place, we have Poison with 18 points. Second to last is Steel with 51 points, and just above them is Bug with 54 points. After beating the Viridian City Gym, things haven't changed much, with the top three and bottom three types still in the same position, but now with higher point values. Psychic now with 419, Electric with 373, Ice with 333, and the bottom last being Poison with 20, Steel with 59, and Bug with 63. Moving on to the Elite Four and the Champion, we will now be expanding the top three to top five, and you'll be seeing why here in a second. In first place still is Psychic, but now with 439 points. Electric with 398 points. In third is Ice with 358 points. In fourth is Ground with 308 points. And fifth is Grass with 303 points. Now on to the top least effective Moemon. Now on the board, it's Dragon, with three points in absolute last. Up to this point, we have not been mentioning Dragon because it's standard at zero. But after fighting the Elite Four's Dragon-type Specialist Lance, it now goes up to three points. Second to last is Poison, with 25 points. Third to last is Steel, with 65 points. Next is Bug, with 77 points and Dark with 95 points. Now we've beaten the Elite Four and the Champion, it's time to move on to post-game content. After visiting and facing off against each trainer available at the following locations, the final tally is as follows. With the top three being Psychic in first with a whopping 492 points of effectiveness, Electric in second with 444 points, and Ice in third with 436 points. In 15th place, we have Steel with 81 points, Poison in 16th with 44 points, Dragon in last with three points, and technically in last, Normal with zero points. So there you go, there are the strongest types by effectiveness. But now that we have the numbers, we can move on to the math and have some real fun. So we know what the strongest types of Moemon are, but what about the strongest Moemon within them types? For this section, we'll be breaking it down into two categories. Strongest Moemon via the average of their stats, and the strongest Moemon based solely on their strongest attacking stat. Let's start with the strongest Moemon based on the average of their total stats. The way we'll be getting the average is by simple math. We'll be taking their six total stats, adding them together, and then dividing it by six. After doing that for our strongest Moemon type, Psychic, 
we find that Mewtwo is in first with an average stat number of 113. Meaning going off averages, Mewtwo is the most effective Moemon in Fire Red, followed closely by Mew with 100 points as an average. In third place, it's a tie between Starmie and Executor with 86 points. Now let's move on to Electric, the second most effective Moemon type. In first place for Electric, the most effective Moemon based solely on their average stats is Zapdos, with 96 as an average. Next we have Jolteon with an 87 average. And lastly we have Electrobuzz with 81 as an average. Let's move on to the third most effective Moemon type. Leading Ice is Articuno with 96 points as an average. Next is Lapras with an 89 average. And third is Cloyster with an 87 average. Now we'll be skipping to the bottom of the list to see the least effective Moemon. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at all the different Moemon types in the middle. Big surprise, the legendary birds dominate any class they appear in. Moving to the absolute bottom of the list with normal type Moemon, we have Snorlax in first with an average of 90. Genghis Khan and Tauros are tied for second with 81. Pidgeot and Clefable are tied for third with a 78. Now don't get confused. This does not mean that these Moemon are the weakest in the game. This just means that they are the strongest within the weakest type in terms of effectiveness. Man, I hope that wasn't confusing. Now let's move on to most effective Moemon based solely on their highest attacking stat, meaning both special attack and regular attack. In first place for Psychic is, big surprise, Mewtwo, with a highest attacking stat of 154. Next is Alakazam with 135, and lastly is Executor with 125. Moving on to Electric, Zapdos is still in the lead with a highest attacking stat of 125, Megaton is in second with 120, and Jolteon is in third with 110. For Ice, we have Jinx with 115, Cloyster and Articuno tied with a 95, and Lapras in third with an 85. Moving to the bottom of the list with normal type Moemon, we have Eevee in first place with 1,000 points. Next is Snorlax and Dutrio with 110, Tauros with 100, and Genghis Khan with a 95. we have all them numbers in hand, we can move on to the next and final step, which is finding the most effective starter. For the base game and after reviewing the numbers, it would appear that Bulbasaur as a grass type is the most effective starter. Next was Squirtle as the water type, and then lastly Charizard in third. But where's the fun in stopping there? Let's go out on a limb here and assume you also have picked up Moemon Yellow, or Moemon Let's Go Pikachu, or Let's Go Eevee. After taking those games into account, it would appear that Pikachu would be the most effective Moemon. After all, Electric did get second place as the most effective type. And if we stopped at Moemon Yellow, that would be correct. But after including Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, things change a little bit. When we bring into account Eevee's evolutions, the least effective type becomes the most effective. Since in these games, Eevee can evolve into Jolteon, Jolteon would take first place as the strongest. Since Jolteon's stats overall are better than Raichu's stats, Pikachu's final evolution. Jolteon has an average stat score of 87.5 and a highest attacking score of 110. Comparing that to Raichu, Raichu taps out at 79.1 as an average and 90 as his highest attacking stat. Not only that, but Jolteon beats Raichu in another important area too. If the two of them were to have a foot race, Jolteon would win with the highest speed stat of 130, Raichu only having a 100 in speed. Even if you didn't want an electric type starter, picking Eevee at the very beginning as a starter would still be your best bet. Because all the evolutions that Eevee can evolve into are also better than the starter counterparts. Looking over to Charizard's average stats, he has an 89 and his highest attacking stat is 109. Flareon's average stats would be just behind this, with an 87.5 and a highest attacking stat that beats Charizard's with a 130. Next we have Blastoise. Blastoise has an average stat of 88.3 and a highest attacking stat of 95. 
Vaporeon again only just behind with 87.5 and a highest attacking stat of 110. And while the EV evolutions in these games do not have an equivalent to Bulbasaur, meaning he would remain at the top as the most effective starter Moemon if we were basing it solely on Fire Red, let's go ahead and throw Leafeon in there anyway to compare up against Venusaur. You know, just for fun. Looking at Venusaur's stats, he has an average of 87.5 and a highest attacking stat of 100. Looking at Leafeon's stat average, they also have an 87.5 and a highest attacking stat of 110, just a little ahead of Venusaur. After reviewing the numbers and doing the quick math, it would appear that the most effective Moemon in the game is Mewtwo. Big surprise. And the most effective starter in Fire Red would be Bulbasaur. We just threw the Eevee Evolution stuff in there for fun because we like Eevee. With all that said, I think that's going to wrap things up. I want to give a big shout out to our resident Moemon expert, XX Comer XX. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. <coughs> <coughs> number two. Wait, we're on number two? This is number three, ain't it? Damn, what am I smoking today? <coughs> In this case, Fairy will not be treated as normal and will not count at all. Only the psychic part. part because in Moemon, Moemon Fire Red, it was not a dual type. It was a single, it was par, par, Charmeleon and Charm coming out, coming out of the, coming out of the Vermilion City Gym. Electric has moved up to second. Electric is, we will now be expanding the top, the, <coughs> Going off averages, Mewtwo is the strongest Meaning going off averages Meaning going off averages, Mewtwo is the strong Meaning going off Meaning going off averages, Mewtwo is the most of Leading Ice is Articudo Moving on to the absolute Moving to the bottom of the list Moving to the This does not mean that these Pokemon Not mean that these Moemon are the weakest Pokemon this does not mean that moving to the bottom of the list with normal type Pokemon lastly Charmeleon and then lastly it would appear that Pikachu is the strongest Moemon after all electric but after including let's go Pikachu you know just for fun looking at Venusaur stats he is an average of 87 point looking at Venus and they just barely get it it might also be worth mentioning that while some of these stats it might also be worth mentioning that while some of these comparisons have stats that are close together one area that the EV evolutions usually always beat out in is speed nah cut that part cut that last cut that last part out <laughs> so Jill Barry Jill Barry Jill Barry sandwich